put your phone in there so that way when you floor it and the turbo spools up, it flies out and karate chops you in the throat. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, fine people of the interwebs. Today, it's, it's a vlog day kind of video. Kyla and I are up in Phoenix to go do some car things. She's behind the glass, huh? <laughs> Sorry. It's hard to figure out how to get out of there. Yeah, we drove up here late last night and um, we have lots of vehicles to drive and check out today. And I don't know, it's a vlog video, so let's vlog video stuff. So what we're doing up here is they have this thing called the Southwest Media Drive Event and they have a bunch of different cars from different manufacturers here for us to just drive and kind of see what we want to do car reviews on, if they're going to be in the fleets. And I jumped on the first one <laughs> that I could, this first chance I got to, this guy right here. It's the Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio. It's my bucket list vehicle. This is like if I had to replace Forrester Gump with another crossover and I was rich. It would be this guy. Total price. That's the base price, though. Yeah, so it starts... Wait, what? It starts at 80000 80. There's a lot of other journalists here, and I'm jumping in the car that I'm sure everyone wants to drive first. So I had to be kind and not take all day with this thing. <laughs> but, oh my god, this thing is so dope. Oh, the push button start is on the steering wheel. Yeah, isn't that so cool? I like that better than it being like over here. Yeah, somewhere. I agree. It makes so much more sense having it down here. <laughs> Sounds like a tiger purring. There's a set route that we're supposed to follow. We're up in Chandler, it's part of Phoenix because Phoenix is enormous and I don't know my way around here. So we're just gonna drive and make loud noises because we can. Oh, the steering wheel's Alcantara. It's so soft and it's like holding a soft baby snake. <laughs> I mean, this is so dope. I love this emblem right here on the side. It's like white with the little green quadrifolio, quadrilifo, quadrilif yo. It's like Jesse Pinkman, quadrilif yo. And the gills. The little hood like bends. God, I love the front end reminds me of the Hawkeye Generation Subaru and the Subaru Tribeca where it had the tri grill. Two eighty-five forty twenties. Oh God, <laughs> it's got a nice ass too. So, ooh, love it. I want this thing so damn bad. So it's actually mounted. I mean, it's pretty far back. Yeah. Well, it's nearly a fifty-fifty weight distribution. Is it really? Yeah. yeah it's nearly fifty-fifty. Yeah, Again, so strut tower is like there. It's in the middle of the blockish. Yeah. Hugely important, the weight balance for, from a handling standpoint, obviously, right? Yeah. So the Julia and the Stelvio, same same platform, same chassis, oh, okay. roughly. Um, but yeah, that 50-50 weight balance is hugely important. We're already in the next vehicle and it's a Rubicon Gladiator. I've been wanting to do a review on the Gladiator for a while now, I just haven't had one available. So hopefully this one is available and I can do an off-road review on it soon. But it's a pickup truck Jeep, bruh. We did Jeep things. <laughs> I wanted to do off-road Jeep things, so I drove on a curb, because people that own Jeeps do that. They park with a tire on a curb because they flex. Yeah, that's what they do. I love the LED headlights on these. This one's like fully specced out because it is the Rubicon, so it's $56,000, which is a lot of money for a Jeep, but it is a lot of Jeep. I mean, this thing is long as hell. It's crazy in person just how long this thing is. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> it was good, right? 
I'm rubbing off on her. She's dropping the that's what she said now. Oh yeah. How cute. Little Jeep accents on the wheel. It's so dope though. It's like a Jeep because it's a Jeep. So you can take the top off. And I like to, to ugh, I bit my lip. It's got a bed. How does- oh, you had to pull this? Look at me, I just know these things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just painted in here, which is a no-brainer. You're obviously gonna have to get rubber undercoating or a bed liner in here. Oh, the back of it has little dirt bike tire marks. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. That is so cute. It looks like the indent from a dirt bike tire Ow. built into the bed. What? <laughs> this was here and I wasn't gonna touch it. Oh. Uh. Like... <laughs> Cause it's a Rubicon, it's got Fox shocks. That's cool, it's like, it looks like the back of a C-130. This one has the Pentastar V6 in it, which hands down, if I was gonna get one of these, it would be the mild hybrid four cylinder turbo. I would not get the V6 at all. After driving the Rubicon with the four cylinder in it, there would be like, no, I wouldn't even like consider getting the V6 because the fuel economy on the four cylinder was good. And the thing was like driving a hot hatch. It had so much torque down low. No, it's not. That gold thing is though. If the you legacy is? Yeah, if oh, you haven't okay. driven that one yet, yeah. That is a FA24 DIT. And there's a whole reason why I wanted to drive this car. So this is the new 2020 Subaru Legacy XT. XT because it's turbo. This needs to end up in the next generation STI, even though they already said it's gonna be an FA20. But whatever, it's a 2.4 liter FA for the turbo. The turbo should be right down there. Yep, there it is. And the little top mount, such a wide top mount intercooler. I'm not a fan of the color or really the wheels on it. I'm just a fan of the power plant. It would look good if it was like Subaru World Rally Blue and had some gold OZ wheels on it and a six speed manual. Look at the size of that. Size comparison. It doesn't have an SI drive. Oh, like you can put it. Oh yeah, you can put your phone in there so that way when you floor it and the turbo spools up, it flies out and karate chops you in the throat. <laughs> <laughs> Highly unlikely any of you are gonna care about this little Fiat 500, but I can't help it. This thing is so cute. I have to drive it, and it's got a new 1.3 liter turbo in it, so I gotta give it a shot. I like Fiats. I just, I don't know, I'm drawn to them because they're adorable. <laughs> this was hands down your choice of all of them to drive, right? Yeah. It reminds me kind of like of a buggy, like a Volkswagen buggy, and I think that's why I like it so much, because I really like buggies. This is actually, it's this so is cute. cute. I know, I love it. I like how it's painted, just like the 500 yeah. like cars are painted like that, but this little, is this Beats audio? <gasps> it is, it's Beats, because it has the headphones. No 177 horse, 210 pound feet of torque. This is gonna be kind of quick, maybe. Okay. Oh. It's so happy. This is my car. The driving mode selector knob on this thing is so adorable. Like, look, oh no, I'm getting snow on me. Oh, I'm going to race. I'm all by myself. I'm a loner. <laughs> I don't really know what else you're supposed to do with one of these as far as footage wise. It's a cute car, so you just do cute shit in a cute car. It's as simple as that. Bluebee. Oh, like kind of like Qbert? Qbert, but Bluebert. Yeah. Bluebert. <gasps> Bluebert. That's kind of cute. It is. It's your baby. Be 
because it's electric, it's an EOT. Is that what it's called? No. Oh. I'm an idiot for saying that. <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> okay. That is the biggest recycling tub I have ever seen. <laughs> that thing is huge. So this bad chicken right here is a Camry TRD. It's kind of sick. It's a little over the top. I thought the girl, when she was saying it was 31, I thought it was like, she meant to say 41, but no, it's only 31. It has matte black wheels. It looks kind of cool. I don't know how I feel about the panda top, because, I mean, pandas are black and white, not black and red, so it wouldn't really be a ba it matches you. <laughs> the wing reminds me of the Subaru B4 Blitzen. I don't remember what it was called, Blitzen. I don't know, the Subaru Legacy B4 had a wing like that. And that's got the rear diffuser. I like the red seat belts in here. These are fire. Oh, I know. And the floor mats have red around the outside lip of them. The exhaust sounds really good. Add supercharger or twin turbos and the TRD badge would make sense. car that we're gonna drive while we're up here there was there was not really any more that were interesting that I think you guys would want to see I'm just choosing cars I think would appeal to you except for the Fiat because Kyler wanted to ride in the Fiat and <laughs> yeah they're cute I don't get out much so <laughs> I enjoy anything <laughs> it's windy it's windy in this beast <gasps> it's windy hurricane season we're uh we just got boba teas Boba. We're gonna head back to Tucson. It's during rush hour, so there's gonna be a lot of traffic. And uh, I don't know, we'll vlog a little bit of the trip on the way back. For those of you that don't live here, this might be interesting because you get to see desert countryside and you're gonna think it's just nothing but sand dunes and cactus and what are the things from Star Wars that live in the desert? Sand people. Tucson bound and down. <laughs> Shake it! <laughs> Close sesame. Okay, bye. Super Goodbye. Goodbye. See you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs> Hello. It is another day. I don't know what day it is in relation to this video because I forgot to record the ending to this video. Because like, it got dark and my lens sucks in low light. I need to get an RF lens for this EOS R. I'm still using EF. S lenses with the adapter. Anyway, camera stuff. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun for us to make. It was something different. Just kind of mix it up a little bit. And um, that quadrifolio was life. That thing was amazing. Anyway, I'll get back to work on the TT here. Hopefully soon. My elbow still is kind of messed up and still really sore and swollen in that spot. But um, I feel like it's getting better, I think. Anyway, yeah, I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye. What is she doing? Come on, lady in the tube top. Or that's not tube top, tank top. I don't know what she's doing. She's crazy. She's going to cross the street so she get a pack of Newports. Mm -hmm.